and welcome back to a very different review video today why do i say different you may ask well usually in a review i would either be reviewing a show or you know stuff like that but instead we're actually going to be reviewing on the fan made tom's video called the good old days also known as before as project tiger moth now, just before I begin with this video, to any of you who don't like Project Tiger Moth, I respect your opinion as long as you respect mine in return. And yes, I will be calling it Project Tiger Moth. It's because I just prefer it calling that, so don't blame me for that. So anyways, let's get started with this. So, Project Tiger Moth. Whoa, this felt like classic Thomas. Seriously, this legit felt like the classic series, due to the visuals, the models, it's all beautiful. And what is the plot of Project Tiger Moth, you may ask? Well, this stars Toby the Tram Engine, who has been stuck in his shed for a pretty long time due to not him pulling any passengers. That is, until Gordon arrives, which Toby tells him about his old branch line before being shut down. When Go and then Gordon says that branch lines are just stupid exchanges of the main line, which is in Gordon's character. And then Thomas arrives, who tells him to take some trucks to the work site for a new extension line, which Toby of course agrees. And when he pull and when he takes them to Percy, he's shocked to see him. But then tells him to take some trucks back to the, the yard, in which of course he agrees. But when struggling up the hill, he soon becomes a runaway train and goes through some old thorny bushes before coming out on the other side. And Toby is shocked that this is his old shed and his old station where he started work. That is, until Thomas arrives with the fat controller, which of course he's happy to see him safe. Then the fat controller tells him that he spoiled his surprise. Then Toby is confused, but then the fat controller tells him that they're restoring his line again and extending it to Thomas's branch line. And which Toby is really excited. On the grand day of his opening, he gets to pull Henrietta after so many years. And which of course it has a happy ending with Toby and Henrietta happy as can be. And that's the plot of Project Tiger Moth. It was a really good fan-made project. Although, despite it being a really good fan-made project, I do have just one nitpick. And that is... In a couple of angles, you can see these sets ending pretty easily. I can understand it would take them, like, ages to make a sort of bend track or something but could have they just spent a little bit more time but apart from that project tiger moth is absolutely amazing and it's way better than what mattel's doing with the franchise now so overall i give project tiger moth a 9.5 out of 10 it is legit amazing nostalgic but with those, but with that one dip pick included, that's why it's a 9.5 out of 10. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of another review video. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you want more videos like these, hit the notification bell, subscribe, hit that bell for more videos, and I'll see you all in the next video, and goodbye!